Welcome to the IIG, the Insurance Apprentice Collaboration. Today we have 33 contestants. They have to work towards a strategy to see how they will support the charity of choice. And we have an amazing panel of judges, so let's go and meet some of the judges. I'm really excited today for this first time collaboration between the IIG and the Insurance Apprentice. I think it's going to bring something wonderful to our class of program this year. I'm really excited and looking forward to the output of these great minds and see what they really can come up with. It really is a great privilege for us to be part of this Insurance Apprentice and IIG uh, We Really Care episode. Welcome class of 2019 to today. I hope you're all really excited. Um, I told a few people outside this morning that there's no losers today, there's just a winner and I think that makes it really exciting. And the winner today gets an automatic top 30 spot in the Johannesburg section of the Insurance Apprentice for 2020. The winning team's charity is the charity that the class of all of you will be raising money for this year. It's going to give you a glimpse into the world of the Insurance Apprentice, but it's not, probably not as high pressured as that. Somebody from your team is going to choose one of the six envelopes on the table behind me and that will be your charity that you're going to pitch to us today. Now that you are all in your teams, it's time for the fun to begin. I'm really excited to be spending the day with you and I'm looking forward to what you are going to share with us this afternoon. I wish you all the best and do enjoy. I hope you are as excited as I am. This is actually a very, very exciting journey you are guys are backing on. I'm looking forward to interacting with you throughout the day and I wish you well. Good luck. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy every moment. Let the games begin. Let's see what this team is up to. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. How are you doing? Good. Good, good, thank you. After meeting these contestants, I'm really excited by the passion and the, the caliber of people that they have on the panel. It is really exciting and you can clearly see that each one of them is really committed and looking forward to giving their best. And how are you feeling about it in terms of approaching it? Uh, well, time is just running away from us. Yes. <laughs> okay, but confident? Yes. yes. Good luck. One thing we need to take into consideration is that this is a journey that we would want to, as the class of um, 2019, to take on with the Guaja School. So it would be something that encompasses a lot of things. So we're coming up with brilliant ideas as to how we're going to help them. I love it. I'm looking forward to the presentation. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi. Good. 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 Can I get some feedback? Yes, uh, OK. But basically, our charity's name is Ikolwa. Ikolwa means uh, believer. And we're currently working around their wish list and trying to find solutions to help them out. So far, I've met a group of young people that are very excited, that have a lot of ideas, and I'm looking forward to hearing what they have to say. Hi team, how's it going? Hi Kala, um, we're doing pretty good. We need this to be sustainable. Yep. Long after we, we are done with this, with this um, organization, they need to still be able to use the tools that we've given them to further themselves. Okay, so I think you're on the right track. I think you've got a good base. I think you might need a little bit more big picture thinking, strategic thinking, and think of the end goal. Think of where you want to be at the end of the year. Okay, but keep it up and good luck for the rest of it. Um, I'm a bit nervous right now, but I know as soon as they get in there, all the nerves are just gonna, I'm gonna leave them by the door right there. It's pretty nerve wracking for me right now, presenting to the directors and the board um, for the presentation. Welcome group one, and we're looking forward to your presentation. Remember, 10 minutes presentation, five minutes questions afterwards and be prepared to answer questions from any of the judges. Some of us have uh, electrical equipment that we have at our homes. Some of them we have double and some of them we don't even use them. How about we don't donate all of these? Because they need like your washing machines, your tumble dryers, they need microwaves. Some of those things we can. It has about 380 pupils um, and there's 
uh, it was formed by a lady called Sharon Ann Denny, um, referred to as Mother Sharon. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you guys to take on this journey with Ukukanya to become the beacon of hope for Kwasa. I really think it was very, very good. And um, I'm also impressed that uh, you went beyond the brief by also making direct contact with uh, Mother Sharon. Anybody that's ever left lasting footprints needed it at some point in their lives. Education is a basic human right. They focus on education and giving these people a chance that they wouldn't normally or necessarily have. At first, I I think it was very nerve-wracking. We were all very nervous, but our presentation went very well. We presented very well. They loved the ideas that we presented to them. We are not allowed to complain about a world tomorrow that we didn't get involved in building today. What is the pride? Why do we want to do this? We want to go out and make the children our pride because at the end of the day, they are the passion. We want to grow our country. So what we basically are saying is we want to be the future leaders and grow the future leaders of our country and our industry. I think it went really well. Our collaboration was great. I think we prepared really well and we went in there as a good collaborative team. So those were six very different and very um, exciting presentations and really, I, like overall I get excited because I just feel that it doesn't really matter at the end of it what charity it is we choose. There's ideas that could be used across, across all of them and um, the last group particularly talking to collaboration and how they would roll their ideas out anyway and share their thoughts anyway, um, for me speaks to really a camaraderie within the group. So I was really excited about that. Right from the beginning, there was absolutely clarity in terms of what they were going to present on, yes. mm. what were the areas that they were going to cover, how they were going to go about it. Um, I think the only challenge they had was the last group from our perspective. But uh, I found yeah. them to be a very... And that's a team that uh, also worked well. It's a team yes. that um, clicked. Yes, yes, absolutely. Mm. As I thought, I, they, they had a sort of a clearer strategy of what mm. they wanted mm. to do. Mm. Um, they talked about crowdfunding and yes. quite exciting yeah. ideas mm. that I thought also, you know, um, stuff that's really yeah. viable yeah. and could really mm. work well. Mm. I think what for me was important is seeing how in a short space of time they've taken projects that they probably knew nothing about and they've built the understanding and the passion that we saw when they presented. Yes. It was just amazing. So there's no denying it, this is going to be tough. I think there's, yep. there's not one clear favourite. No. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to tally the scores and let's see where it takes us. Shall yep. we get them back in? Yes. Yep, let's do yes. so. Let's do it. Yep, let's do it. Welcome back everyone. I was so excited to see the passion in the room today. And it's amazing that you can grow so much passion for something in such a short space of time. And I, I think um, you all really did a really good job today. I think you can all give yourselves a good round of applause. So there's a team winner and there's an individual winner. And it was very interesting because all four of us judges had the same five people as our individual top five. Um, so, so there was a clear five individuals who, in this room today who stood out for us. And in addition to that, our top three teams we're all the same. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think um, I, I said maybe it's my telepathic thoughts <laughs> going left and right, but I, I don't think it had anything to do with it. I think um, there was there was clear individuals in the room who stood out for us, and there were clear teams in the room who stood out for us in terms of their strategy and deliverables and how they were going to do things. Um, yeah. So should we go on to the individual winner of today? Yes. So I said there were five people in the room. But the clear winner today for all of us was Romeo Lingana. I just want to say congratulations. All of us today thought that your performance throughout the day was really very consistent and well done from us. And good luck for the Insurance Apprentice 2020. Winning the golden ticket for me was an, is an amazing experience. I mean, next year was a year for me to enter the Apprentice um, and it just fast-tracked the, the, the 
entry point to get to it and seeing how the apprentice, the insurance apprentice has been doing different things for the insurance industry and that aligns with my goals and future career aspirations. So it's really, really, really fantastic for um, the judges to see such, such potential and award me with the golden ticket. So yeah, for me, I'm really excited about it. I don't want to lie. So see you next year. <laughs> so it was close, um, but the winning team today was Group 6, Ecolwe. Yes, We are very proud as workers to be associated with charity or in outreach work because it resonates with our own philosophy of we really care, we deliver. Well done and we look forward to working this path of the journey with you. What a privilege this has been. You know, we spend the entire day today with a team of dynamic young minds and it's just amazing in terms of what has been achieved within a day, in particular, the guys that won. And I'm excited, I'm looking forward to seeing these guys actually developing the communities within which you operate. So already uh, today we've got 5,000 rands uh, from Ocust, uh, 5,500 rands from uh, NetBank. We as the winning team as well have also pledged and a couple of other IAG uh, council members have also pledged uh, for 12 months that will be contributing and hopefully the rest of the industry is going to come on board and we can really uh, bring change and help those uh, children that are in need. Um, I think the emotions behind the charity is just purely um, the love for children and I think we all have kids and that really resonated with all of us in terms of how can we help children that don't have parents. Uh, that really hit home to me because I also have uh, people in my life who are in need of donations so that really felt special, it was a special moment for me. But yes, yeah, we, are, we are the winning team, however, it's not only us, it's for the whole uh, IIG class of 2019. We are working as a collective, we are going to work together, but the real winner today is Ecolwa Children's Home. So we're really grateful, extremely grateful to the insurance industry for choosing us as the chosen charity. I mean, it's really important to us. Our kids are very important, not only to us, but to, to what they can achieve and who they can become. They're beautiful children. I was really excited when the class of 2019 um, approached me and told me about their initiative and in doing this, and it's really, really going to make a change in the children's lives. And we're really excited, and I can't wait for the end of the year to, to see the impact that you've made on their lives, and for you to see the impact that you've made on their lives, to be able to see the changes and what we've been able to do with the funds raised for these children of ours. So Ecola was founded in 2002 to give hope to children who otherwise wouldn't have much of a future. The items on our wish list is to cover the educational costs and house mom salaries. This allows us to give the children an opportunity in life, something that they wouldn't have had if they were still in the same circumstances where they've been removed from. It, it allows us, with the help of the insurance industry and, and donations, to give them the best shot at life, to become the best that they possibly can be, to reach their full potential. Put yourself in our children's shoes and, see, and know how grateful they are for, to be given an opportunity. And it's thanks to people like yourselves that give them this opportunity and they really, really are grateful to see them grow and to follow them on, in their life journey is, is absolutely amazing. And even with our older one who's doing performance now, to see where he's at and fulfilling his dream and being so good at it and gets so excited when he's in a show and he comes and asks, you know, am I going to come and watch him? And if I do go and watch him, for that little wave that he sends out from there, and it's almost like he gives a little bit more extra just to, to, to make me feel proud. He wants, to, he wants me to be proud and I am, I'm very proud of him. They have so much to offer out there and they have an opportunity and we, it's, it's up to us to give them that opportunity to, to, to be the best that they possibly can in life.